Welcome everyone. Today we embark on a journey through one of the greatest novels ever written. Imagine a world where the struggle between faith and doubt, love and hate, good and evil, plays out within a single family. Today, we're diving into a literary masterpiece that does just that, Fyodor Dostoevsky's The Brothers Karamazov. Hello book foxes, welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we keep books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. By the end of this video, you'll have all the insights you need to decide if this profound novel should be your next read or purchase. Let's dive into the turbulent world of the Karamazovs. Can one be held accountable for the sins of their father? And what if those sins are the very foundation of your existence? Let's explore these haunting questions in today's summary. The Brothers Karamazov was written by Fyodor Dostoevsky and first published in 1880, Widely considered one of the greatest novels of all time, this Russian classic has captivated readers with its intricate exploration of human nature, selling millions of copies worldwide. The book is a complex blend of philosophy, psychology, and theology, all wrapped in a compelling family drama. It has influenced countless writers and thinkers, including Freud, Einstein, and Camus. The story centers around Fyodor Pavlovich Karamazov, a depraved and neglectful father and his three sons. Dmitri, Ivan, and Alexei, each grappling with their own moral dilemmas. The narrative unfolds in a small Russian town, where the Karamazov family's personal conflicts, driven by jealousy, greed, and passion, spiral into a tragic murder that shocks the entire community. At the heart of the novel is the murder of Fyodor Karamazov, and the question of who is truly responsible. Is it Dmitri, the hot-headed son with a public grudge against his father? Or is it someone else, driven by deeper, darker motivations? Through this mystery, Dostoevsky explores the nature of guilt, redemption, and the eternal battle between faith and reason. Main character's introduction, Fyodor Pavlovich Karamazov, the father, a corrupt and cynical man whose actions set the stage for the tragedy that ensues. Dmitri, also known as Mitya, the eldest son, torn between his desires and his sense of honor, leading him to a life of excess and conflict. Ivan, the middle son, an intellectual who struggles with existential questions about God, morality, and human suffering. Alexei, often called Alyosha, the youngest son, a gentle and devout novice monk who represents the moral compass of the story. Pavel Smerdyakov, the possible illegitimate son and servant who harbors deep resentment and nihilistic beliefs. Each character embodies a different aspect of the human psyche. Dmitri's fiery temperament contrasts sharply with Ivan's cold rationality, while Alyosha's spiritual purity offers a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos. Smerdyakov's complex relationship with the family adds another layer of intrigue, making the Karamazovs a mirror for the reader's own inner conflicts. The primary themes and messages that Dostoevsky's novel delves into faith, doubt, free will, and the nature of evil. Ivan's philosophical debates, particularly in the famous Grand Inquisitor chapter, challenge the existence of a just God in a world full of suffering. Alyosha's unwavering faith, on the other hand, offers a counterpoint, suggesting that love and compassion can transcend even the darkest of human experiences. These themes are not just theoretical, they resonate with real-life struggles. Whether it's questioning the morality of our actions, dealing with family conflicts, or searching for meaning in a seemingly chaotic world, the Brothers Karamazov offers profound insights that are as relevant today as they were in Dostoevsky's time. Is easy connect this book's themes to everyday life or universal experiences? Think about the times when you've wrestled with a moral dilemma, faced a crisis of faith or questioned your own beliefs. This novel brings those universal experiences to life through its richly drawn characters and intricate plot. Personally, what struck me the most was how Dostoevsky captured the essence of human conflict. The way he intertwines the character's personal struggles with broader philosophical questions is nothing short of genius. Each time I revisit this novel I find new layers of meaning and relevance to my own life. Likes and Dislikes I admire Dostoevsky's ability to delve into the darkest corners of the human soul while still offering a message of hope through characters like Alyosha. However, the dense philosophical discussions may be challenging for some readers, but they are ultimately rewarding if you're willing to engage with them. In summary, The Brothers Karamazov is a rich and multifaceted novel that explores the depths of the human condition. Through the tragic tale of the Karamazov family, Dostoevsky invites us to ponder life's most profound questions about faith, morality, and the nature of evil. If you're looking for a novel that challenges your mind and soul, 
this is it. Whether you're drawn to its psychological depth, its philosophical insights, or its dramatic plot, The Brothers Karamazov has something to offer every reader. And here's a bonus tip for those who make it to the end. If you're interested in exploring more of Dostoevsky's works, Crime and Punishment is another must-read that delves into similar themes with equal intensity. What are your thoughts on the Karamazov brothers? Do you think Dmitri was guilty or was the truth more complex? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you've read the book, I'd love to hear your favorite moments or quotes. Let's get a discussion going. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Share this video with fellow book lovers and turn on notifications to stay on the loop. Book Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary.